Okay, so because Keely is a bad influence on me, we are currently testing some rainbow filament and we are testing her shampoo pots. I'm just making sure this is not too far off. What's printing now is called a skirt. Now you probably aren't interested in anything to do with printing, but but what this is is this it's just it's good if you've just changed filament. It'll it'll go from whatever colour you had to whatever colour you have now. Um, it's also a good way to test if you level on the bed. I always do a, a, a skirt that goes around twice. And now the printing begins. But yes, this filament is full of colour change, which it doesn't even remotely look green right now. Like the outside looks kind of orange, but we appear to be printing green, so I guess it's working. <laughs> But yes, so I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to this. I've been wanting to try this filament for a really long time, but I just couldn't really justify it because it's more, it's, it is, it's more expensive. Not a lot more expensive, but a little more expensive. Uh, I think it's about $5 a roll more expensive. Um, might even be 10, I'm not sure. Anyway, but it just, as far as I'm aware, for something that's only going to be this high, there's not going to be a lot of colour change. But, I guess the only way to find out is to test it. This one should have at least to, at least two colours. It should go from this green, which I didn't even know it had. Let me show you up here. So it's got... And then it should move into that orangey colour, but I don't know how much further it will get into this roll. So I don't really know how far something takes in a roll because I never, never looked at that because I just set the prints going and walk away. But anyway, as you can see, it's still all one colour. Right, we'll come back and check on that later. Okay, so the colour change, honestly, just get this off. He's a little disappointing to say the least. I mean, that's pretty ugly. Um, it also says it's not stringy, which clearly it is. And I don't think it's a better, it's definitely no better than the um, 3D Phillies. It's got a few little pimples on it, I can feel. So, yeah, I mean. You can see, or you can't really see. There, we, I can see a slight colour change from here to here. It's only very, very slight. And that green. And then the thing is, they didn't even send me the right one anyway. But yeah, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bottom one as well because this is this is the top. Of a, of a shampoo pot, so I'm going to do the bottom as well. These are Keeleys, obviously. That's that's why it has the soy and shade logo, <laughs> the logo on it. Um, I'll go do a bottom one, and we'll see how they look together. And then what I'm going to attempt to do is I'm going to do four on one, and that should use up more filament as it goes. So hopefully we'll get a bit more color change. Because as you can see. <coughs> There's not much to go before it goes into this pink, which is actually a nicer pink than what the light shows, but yeah, it's probably a better way to show you. So yeah, so there's not a lot, there's not a lot here. So I'm hoping if we do if I do four, because we're not doing it, I'm doing it. <laughs> I don't know why I said we. If I do the four on there, um, each layer uses more filament, so there should be more change because that's kind of pathetic <laughs> so right, I'll set it up to do a second print actually I can do it just like that right, I'll go to print uh, that was top so bottom <coughs> Oh, 
I don't even know why I'm showing you. There's no point. We'll come back and when it looks different. Okay. So, honestly, this is my last straw. I mean, that white, dusty stuff that you see around the edges, it's mold. I went to soap today thinking, you know, I think I've got, un think I've got everything under control. I've had to throw away a bunch of furniture. This cupboard that this is sitting on, that has to get thrown away. That cupboard there has to get thrown away, so I have to figure out a way to build some legs for the bench. The cupboard that was there is now getting thrown away. It's out the back, ready to be broken up. That's why everything looks like this. And because these things were sitting down here, I've also found mold in here, so I'm probably gonna have to throw these shelves away. But this, this is my last straw. I have put the silicone molds in the dishwasher. I don't know if they're gonna be any good or not. I do have those ones there that I don't know if they're moldy or not. They don't look like they're moldy, but that remains to be seen. Sometimes you can see things on camera that you can't actually see in person. Well, for me, because I'm blind. I don't know. I don't know whether... I can't make them out of 3D prints because my bed doesn't hold this big. So the silicon wouldn't fit in them anyway. But honestly... This, this, this is my last straw. Honestly, look at this. Like these are over 20 bucks each to replace. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 100 nearly $200 because there's all these ones up here as well, which are fucked as well. I just, I, I just, I, and not only that, we go in here to my messy laundry because I'm trying to wash everything. This cupboard here, this one has to go as well. So, because you can see, actually I don't know if you can. Yeah, you might be able to see. You can see it. See the mold all down the side of the cupboard? All down the side of there. So, I don't think, for some reason, I cleaned the mold off the fridge and it hasn't come back and I just did what I always do is I just used uh, uh, sugar soap and I wash everything down and then I do bleach and then because I was told that does this one have any let me just have a look Using using my fuck. Well, I guess that's a yes then, isn't it? Is it though? Or is it just oh, no? It's mold. I'm done. I'm just I'm done. Yeah, that's mold. It just never ends. Every time I turn around, every single time I turn around. There's more mold. I am so dumb. It's like every time I try and get back up again, life just fucking kicks me down and just says, no, nah, no. Nah. I also noticed that this cupboard here, which as you can see holds a fair amount of stuff, um, looks like it has mold on it as well. So that one has to go as well. So, so I'm just... I don't know, just these molds. So it's kind of like, I know, I know this sounds really stupid, but these friggin' things have been with me since the start of my soaping journey, and it feels like everything is now just over. Does it, it does, it sounds stupid, I know it sounds stupid, and it's stupid to be emotional, but it's just. Oh. This was the last straw. I'm really, really done. I really am. I don't know what else to do anymore. How does how do people get rid of mold? The clove oil doesn't work. Bleach doesn't work. Vinegar doesn't work. 
scrubbing everything down with sugar soap doesn't work. It just keeps coming back and I can't get rid of it and I don't know what to do. <sighs> if you know, let me know. Hello. New thing. <laughs> it's always a new thing. You're going to have to ignore the chair. I've gone back to the real squeaky one because the other one just is the most uncomfortable chair ever. So, yeah. All right. So what I'm doing here, as you can see, is I am making badges. Now, I've already made a shit ton uh, and forgot to film it because I told you I would forget to film things some video ago. I don't know. Um... And I have a bunch cut ready to go. Um, I've just printed some more and changed a few things because there's when you, you can't always tell what something, how good something's going to look on the screen. So this being the perfect example, this was the original one that I did. I didn't like it, so I gave it a black background. It's heaps better. I'll just put that on there, and that one can go in the bin. Uh, same with the sun. The original one I did with the really, really dark blue background and I didn't like it because it sort of pulled the sun. Um, I don't know, it just didn't look right. So again, I made the lighter background and I much prefer that one. So that one needs to get cut. Um, I have also just made a bunch of new ones. Uh, I did a whole Alice in Wonderland there's a set of eight there. Uh, I had originally done four of these little skeleton uh, ones. <laughs> wow, English. It's apparently not my first language, but no, it is. Uh, and I just like them so much. Like, I actually have... Let me open that. I have the little cute girly one done already. And all these are just spares because you always end up with spares when you're printing out the same pages repeatedly. Yeah, I've already done this one, which is like the cutest badge on the planet. So <laughs> I'm doing another one for me. Um, but yeah, I really like the little skeletons. So I thought I'm going to just make a whole lot of them. So I now have four, eight. Ah, oh, shit. This is something that I have struggled with and it's just annoying now because you can see this one's got a second ring around it. Stupid me forgot to, they're the inner rings. When you make a badge, let me find all my badge stuff. Uh, it's probably easier just to show you with a badge. What happens is what you see printed isn't all of what it is. It goes, the rest of the paper goes down in underneath this backing. So, <clears throat> as you can see, I'll use this one. You can see how much extra paper that you need. <laughs> so, when I originally designed them, I have the two rings. So, the outer ring is the ring I cut, the inner ring is where the design needs to be into. And I need to remove that inner ring <laughs> before I print things which I clearly have not. I thought I'd bring you along for this. I will not keep talking. Well, no, I'll take that back. I might keep talking. <laughs> it's always a possibility that I'll keep talking. I cut these by hand. Uh, they sent me a cutter with it, but I assume I am completely useless because I can't get it to work. No, that's not a bin. That is not a bin. The other one I'm struggling with is I have these ones, which I really like. They're really cute little... The light's probably not real good. Um, that one says, believe in yourself. And then there's one that says, turn I wish into I will. One that says, be yourself. And this one says, be uh, stay humble and kind. And I really like them. 
but you can't see them. They're just so hard to see. I, they're not too bad. I might try them on the black, on the white backgrounds. But if they're all, I'll change the background. But they're even worse. If you put them on a dark background, you lose a lot of the writing. If you put them on a light background, it just it, like I can't figure it out. It's just it's just annoying. I may change everything. Well, I can't change everything to white. That won't work either. Because they have things behind them. But anyway, whatever. That goes in there. Actually, they can go in there. If I rip those, I'll know they're useless. Right, so I now have a whole sheet just for that one. So I will cut this, but I have to put it down. Because the ink is still a little wet. But I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Um, I've, I've wanted to make buttons since... I, I, no, I can't just cut that one in half because I know that one's no good. Yeah, I've wanted to make buttons since oh, forever. <laughs> Honestly, forever. Okay, so we'll put that little one down there. Actually, he can go in there now. And I'll worry about cutting those later. Right, I'm going to cut a few of these because I don't want to... It's easier to sit and cut a bunch of them and then button a bunch of them, then to cut one, button one, cut one, button one. Honestly, I figured that out before, so we're going to go with that. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to cut a bunch of these and you can watch that on fast forward or you can fast forward past it if you really want to. But I mean, the point of a vlog is to show you what I'm doing. So if you're fast forwarding past all the things I'm doing, maybe a vlog isn't for you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not my vlogs because they're a little chattier than most other people's because I never shut the hell up. And that could be it. So, um, can't really bring you in any closer. That's about it. So I have to just interrupt my, my working here for a minute because I'm listening to a uh, video uh, from uh, Matt Dillahunty about Roe v. Wade and what's going on in the States at the moment. And while I don't particularly want to berate anybody or say anything bad about any of the views that you hold, I would just like to suggest that laws made because of religious beliefs are bad laws uh, and that I guess sounds like a personal attack to anyone I mean if that's a per if you feel like that's a personal attack then that's on you um, my body even though I am sort of past the age now where I would actually need an abortion but my body is my own and I should be allowed to do with it as I choose. 
as should you, as should any single person on the entire planet be allowed to do with their body what they choose. So if they want to have an abortion, they should be allowed to have an abortion. It should not be a law that you cannot have an abortion. Bodily autonomy is the most important thing when it comes to law, and you should have it 100%. I don't think that a religious belief should be a law. I don't think that what anyone else thinks I can do with my body should be a law. Um, and I would just like to sort of suggest that for any of you who don't, like, it doesn't matter what you personally think. Your personal opinion is great and you're entitled to it, but it should only apply to you. So for anyone to say, well, I don't believe in abortion. I think that you're killing an innocent life. That's fine. You can think that, but your opinion should not affect my ability to have an abortion if I so choose because my body is mine it's not yours you have no right to it you have no right to tell me what to do with it and I think a lot of people are forgetting that I think a lot of people just think that what they believe should apply to everybody but they're forgetting that what they believe should only apply to them that's it. The end. I don't understand. I literally do not understand why people think that uh, what I just said. I would just be repeating the exact same thing. So I want you to think about that. Just, just because, like, I, you are allowed to think what you want. I'm not saying you shouldn't think it. If you think that abortion is murder. Go for it. Think that. That's fine. But you are only thinking that for yourself. What you think isn't actual reality. It isn't actually applicable to anybody else. I'm not, and that made it sound like I was saying that it's not real. I mean, for you, that's your opinion and that's real and that's fine. Like, you know, I might believe that there's unicorns are real. That doesn't mean that they are and it doesn't mean that there should be a law stating that unicorns have to do something or other, right? It's just my personal opinion and it doesn't mean anything to anybody else. And that's this whole abortion thing seems to be people with particular opinions and they are religious. Don't tell me they're not. Um, are, are making laws for people that they shouldn't it just it just shouldn't be happening it's it's I, I just i can't i mean i didn't know any of this was really going on i sort of like i hear a bit here and there but i don't tend to have anything to do with politics i mean i know i have to vote next weekend and then that's it i also know that i might be voting for the liberals because hello anyone who votes for the liberals next sunday saturday whatever day i have to vote you need some talking to. You need to be smacked. But again, that's personal opinion and you can vote for who you want. But again, this, this whole abortion thing is I just... Where did it get to a point where um, people's bodily autonomy is ruled by other people? And again, Matt was just saying that the, the, the Supreme Court's now made up by almost completely religious people. There's not a single atheist on the Supreme Court. Yet more and more people are becoming atheist or saying that they're coming out, as they like to say to the States, because I guess it's such a big deal they're here. I mean, it's, it's really not a thing if you're an atheist. No one sort of comes out as an atheist. I think it's... I mean, religion in Australia probably... I mean, people are still religious in Australia, but I think it's not as 
like, I'm not going to get persecuted for saying that I'm an atheist here. I mean, I don't go out in public and say, hey, I'm an atheist. You or God believers are all nuts. Like, I don't do that. But, I mean, if religion comes up in a conversation, which it rarely does unless I bring it up, um, you would never know. Like, people don't talk about going to church or... And they don't sort of... No one's sort of, like trying to convert you or anything like you have the door knockers but since covid they haven't existed so that's been great um we do get letters <laughs> personal handwritten letters now inviting us to church so hello but anyway yeah i just want to interrupt interrupted i just want to interrupt for a minute just just maybe get people to think that i i'm not again i'm not saying that your opinion is wrong because it's not. Because it's your opinion, it's your personal opinion, and everyone is entitled to opinions. That we all have them. I'm just saying that your personal opinion shouldn't affect what another person can do with their body. And as Matt just said, if we can make laws, or you can make laws, I'm not sure where the law stands here in Australia. As far as I know, abortion is legal. Um... If we can make laws to tell people that they can't have abortions, what's to stop them from taking things further and saying, you have to have an abortion, even if you don't want one? Like, wh where, where, does it, where does it end? When, you, when you're making laws on a person's bodily autonomy, where does it end? And bodily autonomy also applies to euthanasia, um, not just abortion so we're talking about anything that a person can legally do to themselves that's what bodily autonomy is and people should be allowed to my hands i'm being italian here oh god read me for that one i don't care um people should be allowed to do what they want to their body without repercussion well yeah, no, I don't know. I can't think of an example. But, and yeah, so bodily autonomy is a thing. And if you don't understand it, you need to understand it. You need to look it up. And you need to realise when you go to vote, in whatever country you are, in whatever state you are, that this is important. Because once they start taking away laws of bodily autonomy, it could just go bad like really bad like it could be to the point where you are saying that someone with a different colored skin than you can't do such and such because they have a different colored skin that's bodily autonomy like you know that's very racist and this is what used to happen and this is this is what a lot of people fear is that when you start going backwards with laws, you could go really, really backwards with laws. So, hey, flea bag. Can we outlaw fleas while we're at it? Because that would be great. Because fleas are like the number one enemy of the universe, I feel. One day they're going to take over. All right. And on that silly note, I will end this and I'll get back to work. All righty. We're back. <laughs> On the squeaky chair. Um, I have found... Okay, so... You'll see as we go through, but there's basically three parts to the to a, to a, a button. You have the front bit that you put your picture on, then you have the, the clear film that goes over the top, and then you have the backs, which have the pins in them. Now, I found with these, they've got this little bit here... I don't even know if I can make that focus. Anyway, you can see it. Uh, so I found that sometimes it just gets in the way. So I will go through and I'll just cut it off. But I'll, I'll do it when I have like tons of them. Because it's just pointless just doing... When you're doing these sorts of things, honestly, you're better off setting it up so that you've got like a like a little factory going 
because it's just it's way more productive to just do things in you know 50s than it is to do them in ones especially little tasks like this so i'll just go through all of these and give these a clean up and then we'll come back well i want i'll keep filming but i'll just make it go really fast So this honestly is just stupidly simple to use. Now I have these basically in the order I want to make them, but it's now upside down. So, <laughs> so I'll just turn my little pile upside down. Uh, the one thing I did discover, if you line up your picture with this and then line up your back with this, they don't line up. <laughs> It took me a couple of stamps to. Uh, a couple, why do I keep saying stamps? It took me a couple of um, buttons to figure it out. So I now have. I don't know if you can see it. There's a black mark right there that I just chuck on with a texture, and I line up the fronts with that mark. Take a couple of these out. So that was the that was the 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 front backing. <laughs> And then I take my little thin plasticky bit and it goes on there. And then I move this over. And before I put that down, what I what you have to do with this particular machine, I know that there's different things you can do with different machines. Uh, make sure that your clip that holds a button goes down, uh, that holds the button, that holds a pin is facing downwards so the pin opens downwards and then I put that in as straight as I can and we go on, like that and it disappears and then I will come along and put this in and then the next one while well, that's just chilling out up in here get that ready punch that and then there we have a have a, I keep saying stamp there we have a button I really wanted to do these first because I was really excited about these I don't like Disney at all it's, it's not my thing I just like especially like Disney princess stuff because it's just so unrealistic and so full of shit but there's no such thing as a happy ending and I, the, the sooner people realize it the better <laughs> anyway that's just my dark outtake in life but I love the villains, just because they're cute. So, again, just doing the same thing. And I'm just going to go through all of them and literally do the same thing. And that way, because I've cut so many, I can just do a little sort of factory work line and just continue on whilst my breakfast is cooking, or lunch, whatever you want to call it. So, I can actually take this opportunity to have a chat, I guess. Or I could just shut up and just do what I'm supposed to do. And that one, put that one there. And yeah, this is, this is it. This is how we roll. <laughs> or this is how we button make, I guess. This thing is great. It does exactly what it's supposed to do does it well this is so cute I love them <laughs> oh, I have to make a set for myself I do actually have enough printed I think I have a beanie that I put all my buttons on because I have quite a few buttons which um, I think is probably what originally I mean I used to have lots of buttons when I was a teen or preteen, maybe even. Uh, yeah, so I'll probably do this wrong because I'm talking. So <laughs> that's that's a likelihood. I mean, I was concentrating yesterday, and I did them. I did two wrong. I did this one, <laughs> which has got no plastic on it. <laughs> it's like, oh, right. Oh, this chair, this bloody chair. 
So yeah, so that's why I thought it better if I do it this way because I'm doing all the steps and not forgetting shit. I don't actually know which is the right way up. I'll need to check that. Because I can't actually read Chinese. So I don't know. Let me have a look. Oh, well, apparently I have some semblance of, of understanding because I had it. When I turned it up the right way, wait, let me turn that. I just, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Um, yeah, I, it was, I chose between this and I was going to buy an Arbor Press, a half ton Arbor Press to do the jewelry stamping. But, um, is that all of the evil queens? I didn't think it was. Sorry, villains. Um, uh, because the Arbor Press is not stupidly expensive, considering... I turned out really good. does need... I think that it does need black in the middle. I think the white in the middle looks a little stupid. So... We will redo that one. I'll keep that one for myself. Um, to convert an arbor press, a half ton arbor press, into like, what I want it to do for jewelry, I need to buy a converted arbor press shaft, which I can only get from the states. So it's already like a hundred dollars just for the shaft, and then it's almost another hundred dollars for the delivery because it's it's heavy. So I don't really want to pay $200 for a converted Arbor Press shaft. So I'm thinking if I could just buy the Arbor Press um, and then get someone locally to convert the, um, the shaft that comes with it, then I won't have to buy the one from the States. And I don't know anyone in Australia who makes them, so or who does them. Because it's just a, it's just a shaft that's been bored out. I'm not entirely sure if that's the correct English, but whatever, who cares. Um, uh, to hold a, a stamp. Because when you, when you stamp lettering onto anything, you stamp individual letters, and it's sometimes it's really hard to line them up. So if you have an Arbor Press, it's basically like this, almost. Um except you have like a shaft and if it's and it's solid right so if you have it hollow and you can put a stamp up in it you can just put the stamp in bring it down whack bring them in as long as you're lining up what you what you're um, stamping onto down here it should always be straight that's the premise anyway but yeah so I've asked in the local Facebook group if there's any metal workers around that can do it for me so okay so there is a set of six seven eight why is it isn't there nine I thought there was nine or is there no hang on hang on There's eight. Oh, yeah, there's eight. I just clearly cannot count. <laughs> Which is really not a surprise. Oh, my brain's just my brain is just in food mode right now. I um I have been awake for about twenty four hours and the power was going off yesterday. It was a it was a they told us it was going off, it was planned, and it was going to go off from 8.30 till 3.30 so I thought well that's fine I'll just stay awake and um, when the power goes out which it did at exactly 8.30 I'll just go to bed and because I'm going to be tired anyway <laughs> and seriously that was a great plan well actually I had a few things planned I was going to do first right like cut all these um, 
and that. Oh, I want to do that one. Uh, which way will I do that up? I don't know which way. Again, I shall refer to my actual graphics to see which way things belong. So that's supposed to be the top, is it? I don't know. That looks more like it would be the top. So let's do that that way. I don't know. It's probably upside down. Who knows? It's geography. <laughs> it's, it's geography. I don't know. Yeah, so I had a few things planned that I could do um, that would make sense when there was no power, because there was no power. Um, and, um, yeah, it was such a shitty grey overcast day, I couldn't see. So I couldn't even cut the circles because it was just so dark. So that didn't happen. Uh, see, didn't put any plastic in. I imagine it won't be the last time. Oh, that's a pretty cute earth. I like it. Um, so that ruined that bloody plan. And I thought, oh, well, that's fine. No worries. Uh, I'll just go to bed. And then all of a sudden the noise starts. I was like, oh, kidding me so it turns out that whatever they were doing that they need to turn the power off for was literally directly out the front of my house and they had jackhammers <laughs> and I don't know like the most the most noisy things look at this look at this look at this they're so cute um the noisiest things, seriously. And I'm like, how the hell am I going to sleep through that? That is just ridiculous. I was really tired. But, I mean, there, I mean, I can see through people mowing and stuff, but, <laughs> there's, you know, there's, there's, there are limits. And I thought, that's all right, fine. I'll take half a sleep and pill. And I'll go to sleep. It'll be fine. <sighs> well, because... I was in a shit ton of pain because I'd already been awake for 24 hours, which means I had been not laying down. And that's the only time this, this um, nerve pain in my legs doesn't misbehave is when I'm actually laying down. And I can't lay down for my whole life. Um, that's better. Uh, I was in substantial amounts of pain. Anyway, so I took my half my half a sleeping pill and got into bed and that, that wasn't happening. So I tried to get as comfortable as I possibly could um, and couldn't go to sleep. So I thought, screw it, because I was lying there like kind of dozing off, but then a noise had happened and it ripped me back up out of sleep. So I, was, I tried for about an hour. I got the shits in the end, so I got up and I took the other half of the sleeping pill, and um, so that was it. Must have been about half past nine, and then I woke up at half past eleven last night. <laughs> so yeah, slept for what's that? Fourteen hours straight, <laughs> which I wasn't expecting. And then it happened. But yeah, so. Alright, I want to do that one. And that one. And all these stupid faces. That's the Alice ones. I, know, I want to do all of them, but I don't know if I'll get time to do all of them. So I'm just going through and getting all the ones that I really want to do. But anyway, I'll stop talking now and I'll just fast forward through this and I'll see how many I can get done before my food's ready because it's not going to be ready for a while because I'm actually cooking food instead of having a frozen dinner uh, which I assume will go up in price soon like everything else so that's shitty alright, no more talking now
Okay, so because I can't imagine you probably don't want to watch four hours of me doing that, we'll leave it at that because it was 25 minutes, so that should compress down nicely. Um, and I'm going to finish doing all the rest of them while I wait for my foods. And um, I won't film it. I do have other things that I'll probably be doing today. So I am going to... I bought stainless steel... Uh, whatever these things are called. Earring thingies. <laughs> ah, earring hooks. And I'm going to replace all of the ones on my jewellery with these because that way I can then advertise the jewellery as having stainless steel because I know a lot of people like me have issues if they wear anything less than stainless steel in their ears they get infections and stuff so that's why I bought them so I will film that but yeah I will see you later bye